Hello and welcome to vlog number 166. This week, at the request of YouTube user Tropical, I'm going to talk about benzodiazepines and Parkinson's disease. So, what are benzodiazepines and what are they used for? Benzodiazepines are psychoactive pharmaceutical medications whose effect is to sedate and cause mild to severe depression of the central nervous system. They are used to treat a range of conditions including insomnia, depression and anxiety. So you can see why they might be prescribed to people with Parkinson's. Benzodiazepines act as a sedative, slowing down the body's functions. They work by increasing the effect of gamma amino butyric acid, or GABA, which is a chemical found in the brain. GABA reduces brain activity in areas of the brain responsible for rational thought. Commonly prescribed benzodiazepines are lorazepam or Ativan, or Prozolam or Xanax, Clonazepam or Clonopin, Diazepam or Valium, and Tamazepam or Restoril. Two serious concerns over the use of benzodiazepines are the potential for abuse and the risk of physical addiction. Abuse of these drugs places the user at increased risk of side effects such as confusion, slurred speech, seizures, severe drowsiness, coma, dizziness, shakiness, breathing difficulties and severe weakness. Addicts are also at increased risk of developing dementia in the future. Other side effects include depression, sleep disturbance, irritability, aggression and memory impairment. So these drugs can cause as side effects some of the very conditions that they have been prescribed for. All benzodiazepines can cause physical dependence and discontinuing them after months of daily use can cause withdrawal symptoms such as a loss of feeling of self-worth, agitation and insomnia. More serious symptoms of withdrawal include cramps, vomiting, seizures, tremors and sweating. Although benzodiazepines are commonly used in the management of anxiety, only one randomised controlled trial has addressed this in people with PD. A 1975 study by Kasaki et al. reported that bromazepam, a long-acting benzodiazepine, improved psychic and tremor symptoms of anxiety. Anecdotally, other benzodiazepines have similarly been found to be effective, although long-term use is associated with adverse effects on cognition, alertness, gait and an increased risk of falls. Overall, benzodiazepines should be used with care, with close evaluation of the risks and benefits associated with them. These days, newer antidepressants such as SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are typically the first port of call, with the added benefit they can also help with the depression that often accompanies anxiety. Personally, I try to avoid pharmaceutical concoctions wherever possible and I find that my drug of choice, cannabis, is extremely effective in the treatment of my anxiety and sleep disorder. Without any of the more serious side effects of the prescription drugs and without the physical dependence associated with benzodiazepines. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week, stay well, see you next Friday.